Hello everybody, welcome back to Mining Modern, and this week we are going pretty deep. <laughs> uh, we're going very deep, as a matter of fact. Um, so, at, at Dallas a couple weeks ago, there were some what we called Madcap Moon decks that were doing well on day two. Uh, and that basically means Blood Moon, as you would expect, uh, and Madcap Experiment, a new card out of Call of Dash, it's definitely making some waves in Modern. Um, so the idea here is that your Madcap Experiment, you cast it, and you get a creature where it doesn't matter, you know, the, the drawback of the card is negated. What that means is either Platinum Imperion, which is an 8-drop 8-8 eight eight that says your life toll can't change, or, uh, more risky but more fun, Platinum Angel, which of course says you can't lose a game and your opponents can't win. Um, so there's a few things going for each one. Of course, if you go get Platinum Imperion, your life toll never changes, so if they kill it, uh, you're not necessarily worse off than you were before, and basically these are just four additional copies of that card in your deck. Uh, the plus side to this is, of course, that you know you, you're you you can handle a lot more, especially with Pact of Negation in the deck. Now, Pact of Negation, of course, it's zero cost counter target spell, but on your upkeep, you pay five or, or you lose the game. Both Platinum Angel out, you don't lose the game. So uh, you know it's very sort of simple. The idea is to resolve Madcap Experiment, or in some cases, just get to seven mana, cast Platinum Angel with a Pact of Negation or two in your hand. And then when they try to kill it, use your Pact to save it. You don't have to pay on your upkeep because you can't lose the game. Uh, and you just go on with the game, right? And, and win that way. So uh, that's sort of what the deck is built around. Now, of course, we also have the Blood Moons, which is sort of the other half of the namesake of it, to just lock opponents out and, and keep them from casting their spells, which also serves to protect your Platinum Angel. Um, so that's that's really the deck, you know, Madcap Experiment, Platinum Angel, Pact of Negations, Blood Moons. Now, how do we fill that out? Well, we have um, sort of what you expect in these blue-red decks, uh, counter spells and protection spells. So, uh, Serum Vision, set up our hand, Spell Snares, Remands, Counter Spell Suites, uh, Snapcasters, of course. Um, then for interaction, we have Lightning Bolts and Electrolyze, uh, some Cryptic Commands, which, you know, basically does everything. Uh... And some Vidillion clicks to mess with our opponent also becomes a lot easier to go for your Madcap experiment if you know what their hand looks like. Um, now, one of the things that sort of some of these lists diverge on is whether or not to play Simeon Spirit Guide. And I've actually decided to split the difference this week. Simeon Spirit Guide is just a, a it's really a dumb magic card. I'm not sure that it's one of those constantly of talk of getting banned. I don't think it's actually good for the format. Free mana is not usually good. Um, but I, so when you play all four, you can have these insane openers, but sometimes you just have a bunch of spirit guides and you don't do anything with them. Uh, on the other hand, the benefit of having it is something like a turn one blood moon or a turn two blood moon or a turn two madcap experiment or something, you know? So I've sort of split the difference. We're running a couple, so you do have some of those turn two blood moon plays. Uh, but we're not necessarily overloading on him. A large part of it is I wasn't sure what to cut. You know, we could maybe cut a cryptic and play a third one. Um, we could also cut them entirely and, you know, play more things like, you know, more spell snares uh, or electrolyzes or, you know, what have you. So, or another, uh, you know, another land, I think, um, is something the deck could use as well. So I'm not sure what the optimal list looks like here, but this is what we're going to run with this week. So moving on to the sideboard, you can see we actually have access to black mana, um, so we can have Surgical Extraction and Colagon's Command for the grinding matchups, as well as Tassiger. Uh, Extraction, this is one of the best hate cards against Dredge, which is everywhere in the format right now. Uh, it's very important against them, as is Anger of the Gods. Uh, so, you know, these are sort of our Dredge cards, slash Anger is good against anything, Surgical is good against a lot of... Uh, decks that focus on the graveyard. And then for combo, we have Dispels. Um, and against creature decks, we have another Electrolyze, a Static Caster, um, some K Commands for the long game, uh, Jay's Architect of Thought against Control, Karanos against Control, Teferi against Control. Teferi, of course, saying that all of their spells can only be cast when they can cast Sorceries, which protects things on your turn. So, uh, this is uh, this is the deck, and it's a lot of fun to play. So let's go ahead and run it through some matches and see what we can do here with Madcap Moon. 